Hey, I knew you'd show up. Told you they'd be here. I had total faith in you. <laughs> I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot. And today is Tuesday. It's October 22nd. Now, most of the time on the weekdays, I like to share a hot penny stock I found with you as I was trading penny stocks through the day. I trade penny stocks every day. I'm a day trader. I'm constantly looking for stocks under five bucks that have potential to make us money. And at the end of the day, I share one of them with you. Oh, I hate doing that. Tens of thousands of stocks out there and I got to find one to share with you. And I hope I'm right by doing that. Well, today I'm going to do something completely different and it may be a bit messy, but I want to share a lot of different stuff with you. And we're going to get all this information from my Penny Boys Discord group. This is where I spend my entire day, from bell to bell, 9.30 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I am over here on this page with anybody that shows up. It's the free members page. Down below, you'll see a link. It says, this is the Penny Boys link. Click that. It'll bring you over to Discord. If you don't have an account with Discord, easy to get. Just give them an email, choose a username, choose a password. Voila, you're in. They will direct you over to us. Over here on the left, you're going to have a menu, but it isn't going to be this big. Mine's big because I'm a full member. You're going to see the free member page listed over there. Click it. It's going to bring you to this page right here. This is where I'm at all day, the stock wizard. And we are trading any kind of stock. Penny stocks, small caps, blue chip stocks. We're trading all sorts of things. But of course, you focus in on what you want to focus in on. Now we start over here by looking at charts first. The morning's going on, I'm posting news on Twitter, I'm posting news on Discord pre-market. And that's what you got going on right here. This is nine in the morning, pre-market. I'm putting up some scans, uh, double zero one to five dollars. I do this every 20 minutes on Twitter and over here on my Discord group. So you can keep up with stocks in volume and in price. So you can see what's going on. Meanwhile, you got people over here talking about stocks. They're actually trading pre-market. I normally don't get a chance because I'm too busy posting news. But I do come over here as I'm posting news. I'm finding hot charts and I'm giving people a heads up. And we're throwing these hot charts in here. Now, what makes them a hot chart? Well, first off, they're running, right? We've got gains taken off. But what we're looking for is volume. This is the gas pedal. You don't have a gas pedal, you can't go any faster. So we need volume. So we're always looking for stocks that have volume. The more, the better. Now, of course, when you get volume, you're going to get a lot of volatility, which means you're going to get bounces. So don't be freaking out when she goes up and down. Don't say, oh, she's crashing. No, she's bouncing. Keep up with her. Every bounce could be a new opportunity to get in. That's why we're looking at our oscillators down at the bottom. We're looking at our MAs to see which way the currents are going. So I'm throwing up a bunch of different charts here. GNPX. This was a hot stock today. I brought it in at 9, 10 in the morning. She was starting to run. I give them all these yellow lines. You see all these yellow lines here? Let me zoom in on this so you can see what we're talking about. All these yellow lines are supports and resistances. I've been teaching you about these. These are the speed bumps on the chart. Whenever the price approaches a speed bump, like we do in a car, it has a tendency to want to slow down. When it gets over that speed bump, it has a tendency to speed up. Well, what do you do between speed bumps? You speed up from one speed bump to the next, you're just driving normal. And that's called a probable move. So we get in just over top of these supports and we get out just underneath them, just that quick. Now, if this is running strong and it looks like it's going to keep going, we never pass up a target. When we're trading over here, that is one of the golden rules. You want to take your payday underneath each one of these supports as she's climbing. Do not take your full load all the way up. That's how people get trapped when it falls all of a sudden. You didn't get anything into your basket and everything broke when it hit the ground. So sell underneath each one of these resistances. That gets us profit all the way along. And when it does start to fall, you've already got money in your pockets. So I post these all day with supports and resistances so that people can start to learn. We have a lot of new traders over here who have no clue what they're doing. And that's why Penny Boys is here. 
We're an educational discord, teaching people how to trade whatever it is they trade. Penny stocks, blue chip stocks, options, short trades, scalps, long trades, swings. We've got professionals over here that can teach you. I swear, folks, I have been here for over two years. I have been earning your trust. I would not BS you. I really like this group and I like what they're teaching. So here we are at 9-11. We're getting some information. I am posting news every now and then. I'll throw in why a stock is running. Now, this is important to know. We are not looking for catalysts. We're not doing any due diligence. We're not going through fundamentals, financials. We're not looking at the news for the most part. We're only looking at charts. We're finding charts that have volume that are moving up. That's all we need. We don't need to know why it's moving to play it. And you know what? It may have had bad news. We saw a stock today that just announced a reverse stock split. I think it was uh, not NCNC. It was another one. We'll probably see it. But as soon as they announced it, the stock took off. A huge run. Well, that's bad news. So if you'd have read that news, you'd have never gone near that stock. Well, we saw the volume coming in. We saw it climbing, but we had no idea why it was climbing. It shouldn't have been climbing. That's a dark catalyst. That's bad news. Who cares? <laughs> I can make money off a dark catalyst as well. I also have a tendency all through the day to drop these uh, scanners in. Over there at, um, do I have it up here? Yes, right here. This is my favorite place to go for news and they have a scanner right there, a momentum scanner. And all through the day, they'll let you know what's jumping and bumping and what's falling. But up at the top, they'll just keep updating this and I will bring this in. Obviously, green are stocks that are climbing, stocks that are red are falling. And all day, people have an idea of what's going on. Whether I'm bringing in information or not, this at least gives them a heads up to go look at this, look at that. So there's constant information coming in. Now, the first thing I do when people get here is to let them know what the heck's going on. They're going to be getting busy with the whizzy. That's me, folks. I'm going to be helping you do your trades. And this is the first thing I want everybody to see, an example of how we place our trades here. This isn't just here. This is how you're going to place trades anywhere, folks. If you want to get in and out of a stock and move on probable movements, that means you're in the stock for a little amount of time. That is bringing your risk way, way down. You are moving from one support to the next, which normally is one steady move without any stops. That's a probable move, less risk. And if you get out the way you plan, and that's the whole point here. We plan our trades before we get in. Before you buy anything, you know exactly what price you're getting in at, over top of a support. You know exactly what price you're getting out at, up underneath the next support, just up underneath it, and a stop loss. This is key, folks. A stop loss is an emergency exit that gets you out of the trade if something goes bad. And that happens often. If it starts to fall, you had your back turned or it's moving too fast for you to get your hands on the buttons, this is an automatic sell. You tell it underneath one of these supports, if you're up here, let's say you're in here at 68 cents, your support is at 65 cents, you're going to want to put a stop loss in down underneath three, four, five cents. Make sure your dips Things that are falling underneath this support don't come down too deep. Whatever it comes down, if it comes down three cents, you better have your stop loss down below that. You know, four, five cents. You don't want to get hit and get kicked out of the set of the trade and then have it start to run. But without a stop loss, you will talk yourself into staying in that trade, taking more and more loss. Truth of the matter is, folks, nobody wants to take a loss voluntarily. They will fight tooth and nail and they'll start taking more losses on the portfolio before they sell, thinking it's going to come back up, hoping it's going to come back up and it's just falling, falling, falling. We set up our trades so we lose this much, but we gain that much. So every win covers two or three losses. So you're allowed to lose. It's not going to hurt you when you set a loss up for $20, but you are going to take a gain of $80 or $100. As long as you win more than you lose, you're going to come out ahead. 
So when we're trading, we're not worried about how much money we're making. We know we're making money. If you win a pot playing a game of cards, you don't have to count that money to know that you're ahead, right? You just pull it in and you get on with the next game. And that's exactly what we do here. We get into trades, we get out. We don't worry about the profits. The profits take care of themselves as long as you're planning your trades and trading your plan. You stick to it, you will come out ahead, folks. I guarantee you. We tell everybody exactly what we're doing. Entries are over the horizontal lines, the supports and resistances referred to as SNRs. Exits are underneath the next one. And we absolutely use stop losses. A few pennies under the supports that our entries are on. I post these SNRs on the pics of the company's charts for your use here and now. Though it is best to draw your own. Absolutely. So we're showing people how to do this. And in the beginning of the day, I'm going <laughs> you like my artwork? I'm actually using Twitter's Grok to make my pictures. I just tell them what I want and I get pictures made up. I will give price targets. Let's see if we can find one here. We're looking at stocks. Let's see what time it is. It's 927. The day hasn't even started yet. Now I'm not the only person in here from my group, from Penny Boys. Anybody with the green name is a team member and they come in here and they answer questions. Feel free to ask questions while you're in here. That's what we're here for, to help teach you. And at some point in time, if you want personal coaching, we have coaches that can work with you one-on-one -on -one and help you with whatever it is you want. Or you may want to take advantage of the entire premium package we have. You can do that monthly, quarterly, or yearly. And I'm not trying to sell you. I'm just saying you have access to all of our professionals. You have access to our daily watch list, our swing watch list, our long watch list. You get alerts. You get all sorts of stuff with this. I'm not trying to sell you. I'm just telling you, we've got everything you possibly need. And I have been earning your trust for two years. So I'm hoping that counts for something here, folks. So as I was saying, once I get them to understand what sort of trades we're doing here and how we're getting these trades, once that bell goes off, we do not rush. There are so many people that act like it's a race. There goes the bell. What can I get into? What's moving? Shh. Calm down. Drink your coffee. Finish your eggs. <laughs> we're going to take about five or ten minutes here and look around. Let things start to move. It's easier to guess where something's going when it's moving. And the truth of the matter is, is if you've got a runner pre-market, you need to get out of that stock if you're in it. If you're playing pre-market, chances are a runner is going to take a big dip at the bell. All the investors that just came into the market who don't play pre-market, who didn't know it was running, as soon as they come on, they go, oh my God, look at how high it is. What's the first thing they're going to do? They're going to sell. So you're going to have an immediate drop on a strong runner. So you don't want to hold that stock through the bell because you're going to go through that drop. Now there is a strong likelihood once it hits a floor, the buyers will come back in and start pushing it up. But do you really want to go through all that? I would rather sell pre-market, take those gains and then wait for it to fall, bounce and start climbing back up and get back in and take a second trade. So as I said, we're looking around the board now. We're looking for charts that have heat. You can see here, we've got like one minute on that board, two minutes. And we're looking at one and five minutes because this is where we get in and get out. But me, I'm looking at hourly charts, 15 minute charts, four hour charts. We need to see the overall trend and I need to find my supports and resistances. But most people are trading on the short charts so you can see the movements as they happen. Now let's see if I can find an entry here for you. There, GNPX, right? Entry above 370, target 390. Then you're going to get back in at 394. Now you're thinking, this is silly. And we're going to get out at 409. And you're thinking, why would you do this? That's a 20 cent move. This one here is, that's less than 20 cents. Why do you do that? All right, follow me here. If you get a thousand shares of any stock, any stock at all, every penny it moves is a $10 gain. If you get 500 shares, you're making $5. So let's just use the thousand so that it's easy to work with. We got a 20 cent move here. You're going to get in at 370, out at 390. 20 cents at a thousand shares is going to make you $200.
right? $200. Now, why are we getting out? Because when you cross over the support and resistance, there is one right there probably at 392. We don't do anything on the supports and resistances. Those lines we draw, that's where the price bounces and changes direction. We don't buy or sell on those lines. Those are poison. Don't touch the lines. We always buy over them and we always sell under them. So right there in the middle at about 392 is gonna be our support. Well, when we cross over, we don't know what's gonna happen. She could just get over the top and turn right around and come back down and you're not gonna have time to sell. So sell at every single target, every single yellow line I put out there, you want to sell at. Now this is the way we like to do it. If the thing is climbing, you get to your first target, sell 75%. 75%, take back everything you put into it and some profit. Now you've got 25% left. Let that go to the next target. Now you're thinking to yourself, but I'm not making as much money. I've got less going. Do you know that in most cases, the 25% that you send off by itself, because it's going further and probably covering a bigger size gap, you're gonna make as much, if not more, as you did with the 75%. You're gonna make more one way or the other, folks. But if things go wrong, you've already locked in gains on payday. Every single one of these lines is a payday. Would you ever miss a payday at work? Would you say, I'll wait until next week to get it? Heck no. Take every payday you can get, folks, and you'll never be caught off guard losing your money. I'm assuring you of that. So we put up these alerts. We let people know good places to get in, good places to get out. They're just my opinion. I have no license. I can't tell you to do anything. I'm just sharing with you what I see on my charts. Now, we want you to work your own charts. We don't want you to count on us. We're just trying to show you what it is we do. And if we do it a few times over and over again, you start to pick it up. And this is what we are doing. And if someone asks a question about supports and resistances, we'll give you an answer. I'll throw up my video and say, I've got a video on that. Watch this. It'll help. We are directing you to the answers that you need. Now we have a lot of conversation in here. Most of it is about stocks. Every now and then it goes off track, but that's okay as long as it doesn't become political or personal or anything like that. We don't want any haters. But at the same time, we do want to concentrate on trading. We don't want to get too far off base here. And if you start talking to me too much, I'm not working for everybody. So people bring in their own charts and they'll say, hey, can you look at this? Can you look at that? And I say, sure, let me go check that out for you. There, Pookie's Revenge. Pookie is, this guy's a genius when it comes to stocks, folks. I'm telling you what, I swear to God, he must have got a college education, except they don't teach this stuff in college. He is really up on all the things around stocks, and it's not mostly what we look at. He looks at other things, so if you really want to learn, Anytime Pookie's Revenge speaks, you should really pay attention to what he has to say. In the morning, I will be giving you targets. I'll give you an entry price. I'll give you a target. The stop losses, sometimes I'll give you stop losses. Sometimes I don't because stop losses aren't just about getting underneath the support. It has to do with how much you're willing to lose. How much are you willing to sacrifice in this trade? You may say, I'm willing to lose 10 cents on every share, but I'm going to gain 50 cents. You know, you've got your play set up and it's worth it to you. We take little losses, we take bigger gains. So that one win covers three losses. So that every win you start pulling away from however many losses you had. Losses are okay. Learn to accept them gracefully. Take your loss with your stop loss and move on to the next. Don't hang on to that anchor sinking to the bottom of the ocean. You will be sorry. Um, here, see, we had somebody sell 50%. As it was climbing, they sold 50%. They're letting the rest go. Always, always, always sell on a uh, target, folks. NDRA was another strong play today, folks. We played this for a long time until she stopped climbing. And you know, you can always tell when a stock is normally going to stop climbing. The dead giveaway, volume. When your gas tank goes empty, when that needle goes down into the red, 
things start slowing down. So that is the primary focus while we're over here in the morning. We're looking for stocks that have a lot of volume. So if you bring me a stock to look at, don't bring me one that's been falling for three days and you're wondering if it's going to come back. We don't have time for that over here. That's something you can do on your own time. Now, free members page is about scalping, but we have pages for every single thing that you want to do. So here you can learn. Here we'll show you how to make money and I'll try to put money in your pocket today, folks. I don't want to waste your time. I want you to see that this works. And hopefully when you leave, you'll be able to do this on your own. You'll be able to go out, draw your supports and resistances, set up your trades, know your entry, know to exit if things go good, know your exit if things go bad and stick to it. That's the bottom line. Be the parent. Don't change your mind in the middle of the trade. The only thing you're going to change is how much you sell at the target. Are you going to sell it all? 50% or 75? But don't you dare go by that target selling nothing. That is a no-no. Absolutely. So what time is it? We're up to 10 in the morning. Here's another one of our team members, Porter House. He's one of our coaches, folks. He will teach you about swing options, swing trading. He knows a lot of things. I don't know everything he knows, but I listen to him every time I can. I do believe that Porter House lives in Thailand. He is an American, but he lives over in Thailand and he trades American stocks at three in the morning, two in the morning. So he is dedicated. Yes, I post this because lots of people don't know what we're doing. They don't know what supports and resistances are. They're not familiar with a bullish pattern, how to find a hot chart. I have got four videos here. Actually, I'm up to six now, right? I got six videos out there that teach you step by step, starting off with supports and resistances, moving over to scalping, looking for bullish charts to play, and then that trailing stop loss. Trailing stop loss is like a stop loss. It's an emergency exit, but it moves with you. When you set it, let's say 20 cents below yourself and you climb, that moves with you. It's locked with you. So as you're climbing, your safety net is always underneath you. And as long as it keeps climbing, you keep taking gains. You don't even have to worry about when to sell. It will drop at some point in time, hitting your 20 cent drop. And when it does, then it will sell. So if you got in at a dollar and she climbed and she dropped 10 cents, but not 20, started climbing again, dropped a nickel, but then started climbing, went all the way to a buck 80 and then dropped 20 cents, you'd have got out at a buck 60 without having to worry about targets or anything like that. She would just sell automatically. Not all brokers have trailing stop losses. So you're going to have to check and see if they do. And just word up, we have discovered that Webull has a trailing stop loss, but it doesn't work properly. It doesn't move the stop loss. It's not following behind you. And they're aware of it, but they're still letting people use it, even though it doesn't work. Boo, Weeble. So now we got another one, ENSC. This was a hot stock. We got what, one, two, three, four trades out of this. Lots of volume, right? This is, this is key, folks. Look at every single chart I have put up, APVO took a dive, lots of selling pressure. Yeah, she had a nice strong climb. Look at that. That's straight up and down, folks, right? That is straight up and down. That is a rocket stock. She's going to run out of fuel flying up and she's going to crash back down to earth. Where's earth? Well, don't think it's the 20. The 20 day is where she'll stutter, but she'll normally come down either to the 50 and the 200 haul or all the way back down to the 200. This is why we tell you to take gains as it's climbing. Don't look for the ceilings, folks. Get the meat in the middle. You never know when she's going to run out of fuel. And when she starts to fall, she's going to fall really fast. And you're going to chase that sucker trying to get out. And you're going to be losing money, cursing, ruining your attitude for the rest of the day. Take your gains at each one. You get in down here, you sell right there. Then you sell again there with whatever you have left over. You like the way she's climbing? Only sell half. At each point, sell 50% of what you have. You could do that. Sell 50% at the first target. You have 50% left. Sell half of that. That's 25%. 
You get up to here, sell 50% of that. That's going to be 12%. And just keep making smaller. And sm Let me tell you, folks, it sounds like you're losing money, but you got to remember where you got in was way the heck down here. And everything you carry up has a bigger and bigger profit margin being added on to the money you've already taken. You're not losing money. I assure you of that. Now, I will be putting these up over and over again because new people are coming in all through the day constantly. People ask at some point, where do I get in? What's the entry? Well, I've already given them a couple entries. So I tell them over top of the support is where you get in and underneath is where you get out. Now, I also like to tell everybody that up here, if you've got a ticker that you're looking at, let's say uh, GNPX, someone says, where do I get in for GNPX? Well, put it in up here at the search bar and get all of our comments and then just scroll down here. And what I've been doing here recently, trying to make it easy for people to find is to actually use that target icon so that when I put up something that has a target on it, and I'm not finding one. You can see how many comments we had on this today, but you can find the charts instantly. You can see, there you go. So you can find these in a real hurry instead of going all the way back through all of the comments, trying to sort it all out. You can just find the targets. You can find the charts instantly. And obviously the very first page is the most recent one. And I'm telling people all the time, use the search bar instead of asking me and waiting for me to answer, because sometimes I fall behind answering questions. And what I'll also do, I have a tendency of when I answer a question to drop eyeballs on it. I don't see any eyeballs here, but normally I will just come on over here. And so, you know, I'm looking at it, you know, I'm looking at it right now. And I think that's great. People want to know, is he missing me? Does he even know? And then they repeat the question, which makes it harder for me. So honestly, everything I'm doing, I'm just trying to make it easy for me, but it makes it easier for everybody else too. And assures them that I am paying attention. Yes, I do miss people occasionally and I apologize for that. I am only human. I am not AI. Now, as you can see, people are dropping pieces of information in here. You're going to get information all through the day from questions that people are asking. We try to give you information. I drop pictures of hot patterns, hot charts, things that you can learn from. You're not just trading with us. You're learning from us as well. See what other information we got here. We're following NDRA. You can see she's climbing. We're all set up for trades. You can get into any stock you want. You don't have to wait for me to give you information. Once I give you the picture and you know that we're getting in over top of the supports and we're getting out underneath the supports, you can set up your trades. As long as I give you the information, we have free streaming events that pop up over here. You'll get a, a invite just like you see here so that you can go watch a free streaming event with one of our other team members who will teach you all sorts of stuff. Folks, we really like to share information. It excites us to see people when they start doing this by themselves and say, I just had six trades and I didn't lose one of them. Small gains on all of them, but I won them all. Yes. Yes. It doesn't matter how big the gains are. We're not after the most money. That's not what scalping is about. Scalping is about getting the most wins you possibly can and letting the profits take care of themselves. Did you know that scalping is the most successful trade on the market with close to 70% of scalps being successful? Folks, you can't lose money with a seven out of 10 ratio. You can't, even if you had a one to two ratio, if that's all you had was one to two out of every two, you won one. But if you set your ratio so that your winnings are three times what your losses are, every time you win, you could lose three times before you would actually be losing money. So a one to two ratio would start pulling away from that and you would still be making money. This is a great way to put money in your pocket on a daily basis. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't swing or do long holds. Absolutely. Diversification is the wisest thing you can do, but learning how to take gains from hot markets, hot plays, things that are moving is never a bad thing. Look at this one. Oh yes, John, I only sold 70% of my shares. The rest I left for the 44% 
44 cent mark. This is what we teach. Always sell something at every target. You will never lose money doing this folks. This is the safest way to trade by controlling how much you lose and knowing how much you're going to take. When your trades are planned, you're in control. And you know what that does for you? It keeps you calm. It gives you assurance when a decision needs to be made, you don't have to make it. Not in the middle of the trade, not in the heat of the moment. What do I do? Where do I sell? All that has been thought out before you got into the trade. You know where your entry is. You know where your sell is for a good price. You know where your sell is for a bad price when things go bad. And we just follow that, which means there's no emotions. You're not getting turmoiled, frustrated, anxious. You're not making bad decisions in the heat of the moment. A planned trade is not only profitable, it's good for you. It keeps your blood pressure down. All right, as I said, we're looking at the same stocks through the day. More stocks start coming in. As you can see, GNPX, Heisen. Heisen, we've got an entry on. I don't think we actually hit this one. I don't think she got that high. Somebody brought a CGC today. That's canopy growth. When I looked at CGC, I also noticed that uh, Tilray was running. Sundial was running. Sundial had a reason. They had news today. They just bought up Novi Cannabis. Now, I did look around kind of a little bit to see if there was any catalyst for the cannabis sector. Was anything going on out there? But these companies are Canadian companies. So chances are it wasn't anything US, but I didn't find any catalyst. I don't know why cannabis is moving today, but we did have some movement and they were nice moves. Some of the nice big companies, Tilray, Aurora. I don't know if Curaleaf moved. I didn't check that one out. We also like to point out uh, patterns on the chart, bearish and bullish so that people can learn them. I'll throw up pictures, I'll show, throw up diagrams so that they understand what we're talking about. Here I had recognized a double bottom, which looks like a W for winner. When you ever have a double bottom, you normally get a run right off the end of that W. And whenever you see an M on the board, M for murder, you normally have a drop right after the M on its tail. So I like to mark these off and show people. Sometimes we have a cup and handle. Sometimes we have a bullish uh, pennant, whatever it may be. All the way through the day, you never know what I'm going to be sharing with you, what Pookie's going to share with you, Mad Maverick, Ben. All these people have got information to share. Here's NCNC. We looked at NCNC because they postponed a reverse stock split. They were going to do it October 24th, I believe it was, and they pushed it to December 20th. So everybody got excited. She wasn't doing anything. She was completely flat until that piece of news came out, and then she took this quick jump. But you got to watch those quick jumps. There was no change in, in financials. There was no deal being cut. They were just saying, we're going to cut your head off next week, not this week. Well, how exciting is that? Ugh. As I said, all day long, you're going to be getting these, which is going to be just a little more insight to stocks that you can be looking at. Now, we do trade stocks of all prices. Nothing is held back here. Most of the stocks are near one, two, three, four, five dollars because these are the ones that seem to run really hard, go from a dollar to ten dollars. You have a stock up at $80, chances are it's not going to go to 400 bucks, but you can still scalp it. You can still make money off of an 84 to an 89 run. That's a very good profit for a day. So we are going to be playing stocks of all calibers, blue chip, penny stocks, small caps. They're all going to be here and it's up to you to pick and choose what you want. Here's the chart I brought in. Volume was just starting to come in, but all the chart was heating up. All the lines on the oscillators were going up. All the lines on the chart were going up. When all your lines are going up, your price is going up. Well, pill started to climb here. I threw it up to see if anybody was interested. Didn't have any takers on that one. That's okay. Now, if she had been super duper hot, she had a ton of volume here, I'd have made it an issue. 
I'd have put supports and resistances on it. I'd have said, this is really, really hot. We need to be looking at it. Here is a play that I think would probably be good. At least it looks good on my charts. And I would share that with you. This, it was interesting, but not an alert by any means. HIR, the same thing. She was taking a strong run here. I put it up to see if there was any interest. I do this a lot. I will share stocks. And if you're interested in that stock, just say, hey, can I have some SNRs? I'll go get them for you. Now, hopefully you're going to learn how to draw your own SNRs, folks. It's not hard. We're just drawing a straight line across any point where the price bounces down or bounces up. Just keeps hitting that line and bounces. We put a line there. Get in over top, get out underneath. Every single line is setting up for a trade. And this is all we need to do. Put up your supports and resistances, plan your trades, follow your plan. Ta-da! Five wins out of six today. Six out of six today. It helps to have a plan, folks, by a long shot. And I'll tell you, that's why I lost most of my money in my earlier years. I had no plan. I had no plan. I didn't know what price to buy. Cheapest I thought was the best. Well, cheapest isn't the cheapest when it keeps falling. It gets cheaper. And I didn't know how to read where it was going to fall and where it was going to rise. So I lost a lot of money. A lot of money. Goro brought this in at the end of the day at uh, 2.30. She was looking hot. How we missed it earlier in the day, I don't know. Because look, she was running all day with only two red bars here in the middle. And we missed this one. Look at the volume. We shouldn't have missed this. But it happens. We can't find them all, but we try. We can't play them all. Don't try. Just find one or two hot stocks, stick with them until they go cold, and then find another one. If you've got a stock that's got a lot of volume and drops, well, maybe sit around and see if she's going to start to climb again and just play those same plays you just played climbing up. Now she's falling down, you can just do it all over again. So now we are up to 2.30. The day is starting to end. I like to start asking people what they've done, but a lot of people are gone now because they've already got their wins. Honestly, people say, I've got my four trades for the day. I feel good. I'm gone. Someone else says, I've got six trades. I don't think I need to trade anymore. This is what we're talking about. You feel accomplished. How many days do you feel accomplished after trading on the stock market? Or do you feel wore out? Do you feel like it took more out of you than you got out of it? Even though you made money, it's like, oh my God, that was not fun. Folks, when you get into a stock and you're in and out in less than 30 minutes, less than 15 minutes, less than five minutes, there's no stress. And when you have a plan, there is no emotional overrides. There is no fear of missing out because you know what you're doing. There's no fear of losing, you know, when it falls because you've got a sale already in place. I've got to tell you folks, since I started trading with plans, it has changed my entire structure of how I trade because I get very emotional. I know you probably can't see that, but I get very emotional like, ah, blah, and I just go nuts sometimes. So it is very refreshing for me not to get worked up, not to get worried, just to follow my plan. God, does that feel so good. You know, it's like driving with GPS. Honestly, when you put your GPS in, you do exactly what it says. Get in the right lane, make a right-hand turn, 200 feet, make a left-hand turn. Then when you get to where you go and you're starting to come home, your phone goes dead. You don't know how to get home. You weren't paying attention. You were just following the plan. And that's all we're doing here. GPS it, folks. Put in your coordinates, get your entry, your exits, put them in there and just Follow your plan. Blindly follow your plan. The only thing we're going to change is our exit if things go good. We're still going to exit. We're going to sell 50, 75%. We'll carry the rest to the next exit. It's good. We'll sell half. Go to the next exit. Learn this strategy, folks. We teach it because it works. It's been working for years and years and years. It's a very successful strategy. It isn't stressful. A lot of people think it is because it's a fast paced trade, but nobody says you have to do trades back to back. Get into one and then take a break. Take 30 minute break. Come back and see what's hot. Does it matter what you play? 
There are always going to be hot stocks. So don't think you're missing out on something when you go to the bathroom. When you come back, we'll find something for you. I promise. TRNR came in at the end of the day here, folks. We had a burst of volume at the end of the day. You can see she took off running real hard. I do believe somebody asked me to get some SNRs for it. We had a request here, so I went out and got them. And we've got plays all set up. And that's the great thing here, folks. When you realize what we're doing, just jumping in on top of these supports and resistances and getting out underneath the next one, selling 75% at the first, 25% at the second, it's the same thing over and over again. You don't have to struggle. You don't have to think. You just find the right stock. You find the right road. Get on. Get off. Get on this entrance. Get off that exit. That's what you planned. Don't go any farther down the road than you planned. Who knows where you're going to end up? You may end up lost. So just follow your plan. I do believe that's everything I wanted to cover today. Um, TRNR is taking off. It may be hot right now. You may want to look at this one uh, after market and for tomorrow. Whenever you see a stock that is ending the day with a ton of volume, there's a very good likelihood that volume is going to carry over to the next day. Now, you want to go do some research and due diligence and find out why it's running. That wouldn't be a bad thing. But truth of the matter is, I'm not. I will find some hot charts tonight and I'll put them on a watch list so I can look at them tomorrow. But things can change pre-market in a heartbeat. I had 12 stocks I had set up to look at this morning. When I looked at them, only three of them looked interesting. The rest of them had just all fallen. They had good run after market yesterday, but just couldn't hold it. So you can do whatever you want today, but really we start fresh tomorrow. It is a fresh day. We're going to be looking at new stocks. You got a hot stock, bring it in. I got a hot stock, I'll bring it in. And we will trade together. As I said, down there in the description, it says this is a link to Penny Boys. Come on in, folks. It's absolutely free. If you want to pay for coaching, I would advise it. I would advise it. $40 for a coach for a month. He's going to help you trade, folks. He's going to teach you what you need to do. Where's that 40 bucks going to come from? Well, come on over to the free members page and I'll help you get $40 in your pocket. You can use that. Invest in yourself. Invest in your education. The more you know, is this the end of the show? Oh, I guess it could be. <laughs> Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.